Welcome back. Let us now take a look on how to solve the question number eight in the certified Kubernetes administrator, Keller.sh exam simulation. So this is the question number eight, um, task weight is two percentage. So we'll use this command to uh, switch the context and to turn both to terminals. Now let us read through the question. It says SSH into the master node with the given command and check how the master components um, kubelet, kube API server, kube scheduler, kube controller manager, and HCD are started or installed on the master node. Also find out the name of the DNS application and how it started or installed and the master node. Write your findings into this file and the file should be structured like this and choices of type are, so they have given um, the allowed um, choices for the type. Um, let's approach this um, um, in two different terminals. First, we are going to use one terminal for uh, recording our observation. Uh, let's create the file first where um, we'll be storing our observation, we're creating a file. Let's use the suggested template. Okay, so we'll keep this access. Whereas on the other terminal, uh, which we have kept open, uh, we will um, SSH into this cluster one, master one. It's done. Um, so to start with, um, we know that the control plane components would be usually running in the cube system namespace. So we'll start um, with that. Keep the whole get all will list all the resources including pods daemon sets whatnot <laughs> everything keep it will get all in the cube system namespace um so if we execute this command this is going to uh, spit out a lot of information that would be an information overload for us so uh, a page full of information uh, we are going to, you know, iteratively go through this one after the other for each component. So instead of this, we will pipe this into the grep and focus on one component at a time. So let's go from the backwards, right? So for all the other components, they have requested to record only the type information. Whereas with the DNS, we know they they have given you know type as well as the name. So let's grab um, for DNS in the kubectl get all command in um, the kube system namespace. So we have uh, matching results. So we have from from the name we can clearly say it's it's core DNS. Um, is the DNS that we are using in this um, master node. And there's a service of dark cluster IP, don't need that. Um, it's basically a deployment, yeah, uh, my replica set is also there. But um, as far as this question is concerned, um, the choices of type allowed are either it's not installed or process static pod or pod. Um, the best option for this, um, I, I suppose it should be pod because it's not deployment, it's not replica set uh, or service, uh, which is given in the choice. So for DNS, we'll say it is of type pod and the name we know that is core DNS, one off the list. Now we'll reuse the same command. This time we'll 
filter for etcd uh, we have only one matching result and it clearly says it is a part and uh, you know if it is just a part then we should be seeing only the etcd um, in the part name but since ha we have the suffix uh, cluster name suffix it, um, appended at the end um, it is an indication that it is it is a static part um, so let us confirm that as well so the default directory uh, would be where we will be storing the static pod uh, manifest would be hc kubernetes manifest and let us see if there is a configuration for etcd here we do uh, etcd.yaml so this is a static part so we'll copy this go back to this terminal and paste this is a static part now we have to look for the cube controller manager same command as above cube controller manager um, it's just one pod and it's you could clearly see that the name is suffixed with the cluster name or the, the node name controller manager so we have the manifest here so this is a static pod as well and um, now let us look at the cube scheduler um, same as the one that we have used before uh, up and let us look in the default manifest for the static parts yeah so this is a static part as well um qbaby server cube api stop there um looks like a static pod yes it is so the cube api server is also a static pod now let's um get to the kubelet so kubelet is usually a process that runs on the nodes so even if we look for kubelet uh, will not get any results as expected yes um, if we wanted to inspect anything here for kubelet we don't have any results so let's see um, we have to use the ps aux command and then let us grab the process kubelet yeah so this process is basically the cube api server so it does have some matching um, keywords that we searched for which so in our case is kubelet the second one second process running here is um, the user bin kubelet so this is the kubelet um, process where it is running so so it's bootstrapped here it's using this config file so it is running as a process basically so yeah so we have this process here um, go back to this terminal based process um, so if we take a close observation, they have um, also requested to say whether it has started running or installed. Uh, but in the template, they didn't specify where to do that. Um, let us get, get all in the cube system namespace to see if everything is up and running at least. So 
So all of them are running. So we do not have to capture that. So everything looks happy. And um, now that's all. We'll save this file and verify the content of the file once again. Looks good. Um, so that's all for this question. Thank you.